Hi guys, welcome back to the, uh, the Bibby Passive House. I'm gonna give you guys a tour and uh, show you where we're at with this project. So uh, come on in. So yeah, we're starting out in the basement. We are finishing the main area down here. We have the laundry room and we have the future bathroom, we call it. So that'll be a project that we focus on a little later down the line. Um, so those two spaces aren't finished yet. Then we have a little bit of storage under the stairs here, utility room and the cold storage at this end over here. And yeah, you can see on the wall, we got our, our mini split installed down for the basement. So that's gonna do the HVAC down here. And then maybe eventually in the future, we might do in-floor heating as well. So you can see the, the PEX lines that we've run through the slab. So if you wanna take a look in the cold storage real quick, it's, it's unfinished in there as well. We'll eventually have to plywood, plywood the cold storage. That way it could, it could be good for shelving or storing whatever you want in there. The main floor up top here. And so I can bring you guys around to the front entrance. You enter in and then you've got a closet and then we're gonna have a little bench in here. We went ahead and installed the storage system kind of above the stairwell here. We decided to utilize the space and, and just build up some shelving in here. As well, we've got storage above I think all of the closets in the house, starting with the, with the front entrance closet. So we got a nice big storage unit above. And then the same thing here. So if you come around, we've got the, the powder room, sort of just a little, a little bathroom in here, as well with like a big storage area above it um, to utilize the, the tall ceilings in here. And then come down the hallway, we've got the laundry chute closet. There's an entrance to the laundry chute on the main floor as well as it goes all the way up to the top and we'll be able to see that when we go upstairs. Um, then you come around into the main living area and then there's an office here. So this is the office we call it. I mean, it could be used as a bedroom as well. Sort of named it the office for now and it's got a closet with a little bit of storage above it. Nice big window in here and a tray ceiling to, um, to hide some HVAC. Uh, runs as well, so it's kind of a nice effect. The living room area and uh, transitions into the dining room and kitchen around the corner here. So we've got a fireplace that we framed in, so it'll just be for an electric fireplace and that also hides the ducted ductless um, heating and cooling unit that we have in the wall. So um, so there's one of our other uh, HVAC units. So that's gonna be serviced by a heat pump outside. And then we have a second heat pump to service the two other mini splits in the house. Yeah, so that'll, that'll probably be finished by like some hardwood or something and a nice mantle across there. And then there's a, there's a fireplace, there's an electric fireplace unit that we, we frame this to accommodate. So there's a nice big window there, another nice uh, door for the patio. Yeah, so I'm standing in like the dining room area here. And then but over on this side, we have the kitchen with a couple of nice windows and uh, soon to, to have cabinets and countertops everywhere. And then there's a nice walk-in pantry over here, which is a pretty good feature. Some people are calling it like a butler's pantry. There's lots of storage in here, so we'll probably have shelving. And then we added a few more electrical plugs so we can, um, we can have like a nice countertop in here maybe, and then put like the coffee or kettle, you know, coffee and tea, keep some appliances off of the rest of the other counters and just sort of save some space. And then we can take a look upstairs and uh, go check out the top floor. So we've already finished this area too because we had a, we had a temporary scaffolding so we could do, do the painting, do the work. So we've installed the pot lights and the fan just to kind of get it over and done with. And then that way we won't really need to go back up there anymore. So you could call this sort of section of the house finished, which is nice. And, um, 
And then, yeah, so we've got the two bedrooms here with the laundry chute in the middle, a couple of little cubbies just above it. So here we got the main bath um, and we did the same thing in, in this bathroom, you know, with the storage above the stairs. So it's got, um, it's got quite an elaborate storage system in here. You'll have to come in and take a look at this. It's, uh, it's kind of interesting how we framed it and, you know, added some shelving and then it also Kind of incorporates the box for the uh, the shower nook from the master bedroom as well and then we can show you guys the master bedroom in here so we've got the main area another mini split to service this sort of this bedroom and uh, this wing of the house so we have a nice big window as well and nice tall ceilings in here with this with the slope and so then you come around the corner you've got a uh, little nook in this sort of section. We're gonna do probably shelving in here. Um, and then, yeah, you can store whatever linens or clothing. And then you also have a walk-in closet, which is uh, mainly for clothing. So we'll probably have some railings and stuff in there to hang clothes. And, uh, and then you come into the, the bathroom with the same, same green color theme in all three bathrooms in, in the house. So that's what we chose for the bathrooms. And then, so this is the master. We're gonna have, um, on this side here, we'll have a, a double vanity sink. And then we'll have the shower here with a nice glass, um, glass door with a couple of panels there to finish that. And then that's that shower nook we were talking about in the corner there. So a nice storage spot for shampoo bottles and, and hair products and whatever else. Um, then we're gonna have a, island tub they call it in this corner sort of like backing onto the window um, and actually actually over here with this wire coming out of the wall that'll be a heated towel rack so that'll be a nice little feature you can you can grab a nice warm towel when you're getting out of the shower or out of the bathtub and then in here is its own separate uh, toilet room to give a little bit of added privacy when you're using the toilet which is nice yeah you get a nice view out the window here And so as you come out, you can, you can sort of take a look at the board and batten siding that we've done. We used uh, one by 10 boards and one by two battens. And then for the window trim, we went with one by three window trim and, and door trim, except for the front door, we went with one by four. So there's these two heat pumps here. So the one bigger heat pump unit is gonna service the two mini splits, the one in the master bedroom and the one in the basement. And then the smaller heat pump is gonna service that, um, that fireplace ducted ductless unit uh, in the living room there. I guess all the demand isn't on one single unit. It, the house is kind of separated into two or, two or three sections um, for heating and cooling. So, um, but these heat pumps are, are gonna be more than enough uh, power. Like the house won't require a huge amount of energy to heat or cool it because of how thick the walls are, how insulated they are, and how airtight the envelope is as well. So these will have no problem uh, keeping us either hot or cold and keeping the house nice and comfortable. And then um, in behind it, you've got the intake and the um, exhaust for the ERV units so that would I think that's the intake there and then I, th I believe that's the exhaust on the other side there it's just taped off because of uh, we had a blower door test done and uh, we wanted it sealed before we did that blower door test actually we did uh, we did pretty good on that test we we got uh, some pretty good numbers we're actually gonna get it redone but the first test that we had done 
uh, gave us a rating of 0.28, which we thought was pretty good. So you need 0.6 to reach passive standard, but we got 0.28, so we did almost twice as good. So this is the backyard and uh, the tallest side of the house. I think right now from the uh, from the stone to the top of the roof line, it's somewhere in the range of 36 or 37 feet. Later on, we're gonna have a, a nice concrete slab out back here that'll kind of encompass these pier footings. And then the pier footings are gonna support the deck posts and there's gonna be a full length deck across the back. And that's why you can see that obvious space where uh, there's no siding. So my name is Ian Bibby. I built this house myself with some help from family and friends. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this tour of the modified Trillium model and uh, stay tuned for more.